Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a loan bag in to do today and this one has come to me from the lovely people at OneDaySaving.com. Uh, yeah, I've been uh, receiving packages from them now for over a year and loving the products. They've been kind enough to give me a code as well to share with you all. So if you put Liz05 in when you check out, you'll get 5% off your order. Yay! So thank you, One Day Saving. So let's have a look and see what we got this time. Oh, we have a diamond painting. And we have, oh, a little special project. I think you'll probably know what that little stand is. And then... Oh, a bagged project as well. Okay, uh, what to look at first, what to look at first. Uh, let's have a look at these. <laughs> so if you pop over to onedaysaving.com at the moment, if you spend $50 or over, you'll get free shipping and also toll free gifts. Yay, we like free. And if you sign up to their newsletter, there's a little banner across the top of the website that says 10% discount if you sign up, uh, pop your email address on there. So lots of special offers. Obviously, they are just as I'm making this video today. So if you're watching this video in a couple of weeks or a couple of months time, just check your special offers. But there's usually some really good ones on. I have just been joined by the lovely Millie Moo, who uh, isn't wanting to get into her bed because there's a wire in the way. So are you going to go in it or not? No, you're just going to sit there. OK. <laughs> She's having a good sniff around the room now. She's a real diva. If there's anything that she just doesn't quite like, she's not going anywhere near it. <laughs> okay, so this is absolutely fabulous. And oh, if you can hear crinkling, it's Millie's having a good sniff around the room. Yes. I don't know what she thinks she can smell, but anyway. Okay, so let's have a look at these. This is the first time I've seen these. I think they're brilliant and I hope you'll like them too. Oh my goodness me. So we have our basic toolkit, pen, button, wax. We are all oh, crystals. Wow, look at those colours. Yay. But they are coasters and they are Halloween coasters. And they're all pumpkins. And I couldn't resist. Uh, to be honest, I'm thinking of making them into decorations rather than using them as coasters. Because I do like to do a big Halloween display in my little diamond painting corner. So, yeah, I believe they're all different faces. I think there's ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, ten different coasters. And these were £10 and a penny. So, a pound each for the coasters. <coughs> And a penny for the stand. <laughs> Great, these little stands. Um, fairly generic. So if you've got any of the other coasters, they will fit in these as well. But let's have a look at these. So the first one, put do them this way, is that he's a little bit cross-eyed and looking a little bit more. <laughs> I think he's been up all night partying, do you? Yeah, he looks like he's got bags under his eyes and he's trying to stay awake. Oh, he's got, maybe he's sweating a little bit or crying, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I just thought these are fabulous. The, the um, like wooden ones, the like plyboard it is. Um, so they will need sealing on the front and on the back if you are using them as coasters. You can buy the little discs of cork that will go on the back as well if you want to add that to them or just use them as is but that's fabulous actually these would probably make a really good mobile as well i mean if you've got uh, a decent hole punch you could probably punch through this or you could use uh, a little hook or even just tie some uh, nice little bit of ribbon or something or string possibly around the top of the stem of the pumpkin there and then hang them all that would be good or even little pegs, if you've got those little pegs. Now, that's an idea. A lot of little pegs, you know, like craft pegs that you could just hang things up with uh, and you could put them all along a string and then maybe put some lights on it as well. Oh, my Halloween display. Just hope I get time to do it all. <laughs> <laughs> OK, 
look at oh my goodness this is a, a cyclops one look he's just got one eye and uh, two very strange eyelashes or ears or whatever they are and he's got fangs oh my goodness he's quite a scary one but they're sort of cute scary you know if you're wanting them for, so you say younger children they're not going to really really frighten them they're just sort of a little bit scary uh, oh, this one's got, uh, looks like he's only got two teeth at the front there. And he's sort of going, oh. So, yeah, these aren't overly scary at all, are they? He just looks like he's fed up of the whole thing. <laughs> and then, oh, look at that one. That one's a little bit like a clown face with a big smiley mouth. We've got a tongue. <laughs> hey, it's alive. It's escaped. We've got a tongue down here. And uh, he's got a little purple nose. And his cross-eyed look. Oh, my goodness. I wonder if there's any glow-in-the-dark on these. If there isn't, I'm going to be adding glow-in-the-dark drills. Actually, the crystals, aren't they? So they won't be glow-in-the-dark. So I'm thinking possibly um, on the number ones, on the white bits, rather than putting crystals, I might put some glow-in-the-dark drills. Hmm, there's an idea. Okay. Ooh, we're running out of table space here. Shift along, lads. That's it. And then, oh, this one looks naughty. He looks like he's having a bit of a wah, 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 wicked laugh there, doesn't he? And, uh, yeah, another little bit of cross-eyed. I love the eyebrows as well. The expressions on these are great. Wow. Okay. And then, oh, this one's got an eye patch on. Look, looks like he's got a skull eye patch, but he looks quite happy about it. Maybe a Madonna-type eye patch, you know, it's just for decoration. Uh, or he's maybe had surgery. <laughs> I'll give this one to hubby. <laughs> it's cataract surgery. Okay. And then, oh, this one looks so he's uh, very, ooh, away with the fairies, I think, that one. Look at his teeth. Wow. Oh, they'd be funny, glow-in-the-dark teeth. <laughs> and then just the little bits in his eyes. Yeah, I'm thinking this is crying out for glow-in-the-dark. Anything Halloween has to be sparkle and glow in the dark, doesn't it? And then this one's got a sideways smile. A little bit of a ha-ha-ha type smile, isn't it? But I'm loving the detail. We've got little splodges of green as well. I'm wondering if they're where the pumpkin's just starting to go slightly. Or, mmm, be interesting when these are done. I'm ah, just loving coasters at the minute. The different ones that are coming out are brilliant. Oh, this one's got a little witch's hat look and it's more of a skull face, this one, because it's got like an open mouth and an open nose and then it's got open eyes, but uh, eye sockets with the eyeballs in there as well. But as I say, not overly scary, a little bit scary. Depends how scared you get. Oh, and then this one just looks totally crazy. Look at that. Oh, we've got a bat on this one as well, look little flying bat it's got different size eyeballs and spaced out teeth and a big laughing mouth so yeah i think he's been having a lot of fun <laughs> maybe being at the halloween punch <laughs> so that's your 10 coasters are they fab oh, i love those which is my favorite let me have a look which is my favorite uh, i think it's gonna have to be mr smiley here i think he looks uh, my favourite one. Quite like this one because he's crazy. But no, I think that one, that one's drawing me to it, I think. Yeah, I think I like that one best. Right, let's give them a quick measure. I think they'll all be sort of standard size because it's a standard size uh, little stand to put them all in. Um, again, you could, if you're having, say, a Halloween party, give them to everybody in a little goodie bag or something or uh, put them out as drinks coasters for your Halloween party. That'd be quite fun. See if people actually use them instead of putting your drink down on your furniture. <laughs> <laughs> okay so we are four just about four inches which is 10 centimeters and then from stem to base yeah four inches 10 centimeters oh, that's unusual gosh it doesn't look squarish does it but that is definitely four inches 10 centimeters i suppose it's because the stems yeah but with the stem yeah so that's your size of your little coasters but i think they're fabulous i absolutely love these and as soon as i saw them i thought yep got to have those can't wait to get them done 
so i've got so many halloween projects i think i'm gonna have to get them all out and have a look and see what i've got and then decide uh, what i'm gonna get done or try and start getting them done a little bit early rather than the rush for halloween <laughs> all right let's have a look at these gems Oh, we're going into the bed now. Diva has decided to go into her bed. Are you settled now? Yes, we're settled. <laughs> After having a good look around the room and a good sniff, she's now settled and in a bed. Okay, right back to the drawers. Sorry about all the interruptions, but uh, yeah, Millie does like to make an appearance. So we have a lot of colours here. Let me have a look. We've got... Oh my goodness me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one different gems, different crystal colours. Wow, that is a lot. And uh, yeah, we've got an awful lot of bags of these orangey ones as well. So we're starting off with that gorgeous clear crystal, which is number one, which is all the like light creamy white bits. And I say, I do think I'm going to use glow in the dark for those. Let me know what you think. Would you do that? Okay, so plain crystal and then your plain black there. And then we have one, two, three, four. Are they all the same yet? Four bags of this gorgeous pumpkin orange a lovely bright orange that is really good really clear as well i love clear crystals and then a little bit paler for your shading and highlighting and then a very deep red there and then that's like a bronzy color and a little bit sort of reddy orange color there and a purpley pink and an aqua blue and another shade of aqua blue and a nice bright red there, a pale green, a pale lemon, a hot pink, yay! We have a hot pink, sorry I missed this one, this is like a, pe um, a paler pink, but we've got a hot pink, yes! Got to have a hot pink. <laughs> and then a dark purple and a lighter purple. And then we have like a, a very pale, it's like a grey colour, uh, not quite just silver. We've then got a green, we've got this like bluey purple, and then a little bit of another orange, a paler orange. So there is a lot of colours in these, but don't you think they're fabulous? I say, I've not seen them on anybody else's website, and I just thought, yeah, I love those, and I am loving the coasters at the moment. Um, I'm going to have coasters on every surface in my whole house if I keep them. So, yeah, they are going to be gifted out quite a bit. But these, I do believe I'm going to make them into decorations. I think these will look really good with uh, just stuck up a set. I'll probably put them all in a line. And I do think, I am thinking that the string with the little pegs will probably uh, look quite effective. And I've got quite a few little string lights that I can use as well. So yeah, watch this space. Wait for my uh, Halloween display this year. Okay, so that is project number one all done. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, I love the way that they all just stack up look as well. That's the OCD in me look having to have them all with the stems all the same way. <laughs> okay, pop those out the way for a moment, chaps. Right, let's have a look at this one in a packet then and see what this one is. Grab my scissors and have a look. Okay, come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> ooh, ooh, now then, this is one of the wooden shaped projects okay a pen boat and wax your little standard toolkit and oh oh looks like this one's all crystals as well but we've got quite a few special shapes in here oh look at those very nice okay so wow that's a thick base heck i've not seen one as thick as that before is that about a centimeter do you think 
and usually they're like black aren't they usually black square but this one always crying out to be painted or diamonds or something on it wow oh that's lovely and smooth as well you're not going to get any splinters off that that has really been finished off nicely let me just measure the thickness of this base again it's all in like this plywoody type of material um it is yeah it's just about a centimeter wide that so it's about let me have a look from the inches see if i can do this between a half and a quarter inch so it's quite thick and a very nice size we'll measure it this way as well while we've got it out and it's 12 centimeters whereas they actually the others that i've had have been 10 so this is 12 centimeters four and three quarter inches and it's eight centimeters which is about three and a quarter inches across so yeah that's a really good sturdy base once it's in there it's not going anywhere and this one is our gorgeous wolf moon look at that it is super sorry let me put it down a little bit we've got a little wolf at the top there as well i think this is a moon I think this is designed to be like a, a crescent moon shape. I know we've got the wolf stood here with the moon in the background and all this gorgeous design. And then it's a little bit like a dream catcher, isn't it? That's here. So it's like it's hanging um, from the top there. And we've got like this dream catcher design. And then we've got like all these rocky mountains at the bottom here with a little charm um, of a wolf there as well. And I just thought this was really pretty sorry we've got some, isn't that strange i'm talking about wolves and we've got some dogs barking and now we've got millie barking as well <laughs> i am convinced this dog understands every word you say because she just starts barking as i say it's talking about wolves dogs in the background start barking and then millie starts barking but to, to be honest the clouds have come over really really dark at the minute you can see i'm sorry the shadows because uh, I've had to put the light on it. It's uh, very, very humid and warm, um, but it is very cloudy. So I'm thinking we might get a little bit of thunder, Ooh, which would be quite spooky when we've got like this lovely night howling wolf scene. But that is gorgeous. Right, so it will just literally, once it's done, stand in its base. And that is going nowhere. That is just really solid. That is really good. Lot to more substantial than some of the other bases that i've had in the past so let's give this a quick measure as well really nice that i think there was a couple of designs in this one as well i don't think there was just this one i think there was another one so it is ooh, about just a well to the back on the wolf it's 20 centimeters eight inches but to the wolf's ears up here we're talking about 21 and a half ish uh, centimeters which is about eight and a half ish inches and then width wise let's have a look so that's the widest point we're uh, 13 and a half centimeters which is about five and a quarter inches there are only rough measurements these i don't do them to the exact uh, millimeter as it were because it's just to give you a rough idea of what size things are so let's have a look at these special drills you know i love my specials yay smashing the specials coming up in august oh oh very nice okay so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven different shapes and colors wow that's a lot for this because there isn't really a lot of gems on this and um, it's going to center around the picture so you're going to sort of draw into the middle of the picture and then see all the sparkle as you draw out from it and um, so it's quite a quick little project to do but it's going to be very very effective very good quite a stunning piece i do believe so we've got like a goldy color and a little bit darker sort of orangey bronzy colour and a very pale blue and that is that is a, a silver with an iridescent coating over the top so like an a b coating so you just get those little extra colours let me just yeah you can sort of see if it goes out of focus you can see the colours better it's very strange not quite sure why it does that 
Oh, and then look, we've got, we've got the blue AB colour on the black crystal there. Uh, this one comes in two different ones, and this is the blue style. And then we've got an AB coated uh, marquee there in silver. We have some little gold, very pale gold teardrops. Oh, we have some silver oil on water effects, so iridescent coated uh, rounds there, a little bit larger colour. Let's see if we can... Yeah, you can see all the different colours that they go. Very oil on water. You go from purple to green to blue. And then we have some silver ones with an iridescent coating on. And then some orangey red ones with an iridescent coating on. Goodness me. And then finally, we have some marquees, larger marquees, with your iridescent coating on. So, heck, it's all specials. Apart from... The uh, first three crystals, which are just your standard crystals, that's your gold, your a little bit darker, sort of bronzy gold, and your blue, and then these little uh, teardrops, everything else has uh, an AB coating or an iridescent coating on. Wow, excellent. Loving that. That's going to look, as I say, very good, stunning when it's done. So that is project number two. And our last one is a gorgeous diamond painting. And again, this is one of the new style ones that have come out. And oops, I couldn't resist this one. It is this gorgeous dragonfly, all in these beautiful purples. Oh, thank you. I've got the uh, bit of plastic that's come off the sticky bit. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll throw your rubbish away. <laughs> okay, uh, pen, boat and wax, nice little starter tool kit. And again, it looks like we are all special and crystal. Oh, wow. Oh, look, oh, two bits this time. <laughs> and they're real staticky, those bits as well, so they stick to you. All right, let's give this a little bit of a flatten so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, it says it's a 30 by 30. So we'll measure it, um, but it is a round one and I will probably be doing one of my uh, favourite tricks of actually cutting out the diamond painting and then mounting it onto some foam board and just using it as like a plate rather than, and I don't mean a plate you can eat your dinner off, I mean like a display plate, you know, where you have them up um, on the wall. <laughs> You'd make a real mess if you ate your dinner off this one. Oh, there is only a five different gems and colours on this. Wow, so it's going to be a very limited colour palette with a lot of impact. Lots of larger gems. Look at all these number fives around. They're lovely big ones. And then, oh, look at these teeny tiny marquees all on the wings. That's going to take some doing. OK, let's give it a quick measure. So we are 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. So yeah, and the plate is actually right up to the edge. So it's not like one where usually you do get a little bit of a gap and the plate is a little bit smaller. They have filled as much of the canvas as possible with this one. And I just think it's stunning. It reminds me of like, I suppose, I think they're sort of done as like a stained glass window type effect. But to me, it's a little bit Charles Rennie Macintosh-ish style, albeit it's not squares. It's more rounds and curves, I suppose. Some more nouveau than deco, but very, very nice. And it's purple. Yeah, if you can't have a hot pink, you've got to have a purple. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look at these gems. Oh, we've got a hot pink as well. Oh my goodness. So if you can't have a hot pink, why not have a hot pink and a purple? Yay! <laughs> so again, we've got the uh, bluey version of the uh, 310 black so if you look on the base of a coated gem um, it will show you the colour that the standard gem starts out as and then this has got the blue iridescent coating on the same as the wolf 
And then we're on to our crystals. So we've got this lovely honey gold crystal there. We've got our hot pink. And then all those little uh, marquees for the wings are all purple. And then look at those. They're a semi-sphere, um, like a cabochon in this gorgeous purple as well. And they're going to go all around here and all down the centre of the dragonfly. Yay! So the background. So where does the number two? Oh, right. The background around here and the middle of the uh, dragonfly is all like your honey gold and then the background here all your number ones so the main background it's going to be this blue which is really going to offset oh and look just realized it's all around the edge and all around like these sections are all going to be your blue and that will probably take on the purple color when it's next to it you'll get more of a purple sort of hue um, reflecting from it there so that's gonna look quite stunning so where does our hot pink go oh, all of the wings and all of the little bits on the wings are edged in hot pink oh, yay this is definitely going to the top of the pile to be done because I just love this one and so I'm gonna cut this one out and do it as a plate because I quite like having a few round ones um, on the wall rather than just having lots of squares in frames and um, I do like my round pictures oh, that is absolutely beautiful okay so we've had quite a mixture today we've got some very useful and brilliant little coasters there 10 different ones uh, yeah for 10 pound and a penny and then our gorgeous wolf little decoration. Oh, he was five pounds and 11 pence. And then this special shaped diamond painting was three pounds 74 with all those special shaped drills. And it is stunning. Can't wait to get that one done. Okay, well, a huge thank you One Day Saving for sending me these. Don't forget to pop over to the website and have a look at all those special offers. Uh, and don't forget as well, there is a code Liz5 off if you want to uh, get 5% off your order. Yay! If you've enjoyed looking at these with me, then a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. And if you don't want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you won't miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.